when you install Axiom for the first time. You'll see the Axiom dashboard here. This comes with several axioms you can use as the basis to build your own bots. We recommend giving these a look, running them with them, editing them, and modifying them as you wish to understand how Axiom works. If you'd like to build your own bot, click on New Automation. After you start adding your first step, you'll see that we come with several beginner snippets. These are quite similar to the examples that you saw previously. You can also use Axiom Step Finder to get an idea of the kinds of things Axiom can do. At the top of the dashboard, you'll see the total runtime that you've used up relative to your current tier. If you use up all your runtime, you'll get a notification here. On the left of the dashboard, you'll see the menu options for the most common operations people do with Axiom. You can check your run reports to see previous runs that have succeeded or failed. You can connect Google Sheets and other API keys, view our documentation, video guides. Also, you can check your scheduled Axioms to see for anything that you may have scheduled in the future. If you connect Axiom to Zapier, you can see that here too. At the top of the menu, you can also edit your account and change your password or delete your account if you wish. There are links to contact support and also the terms and conditions and privacy policy too. At the bottom of the extension, you'll see the extension version. This will also show the desktop app version when it's running. If you'd like to see the latest updates with the release of Axiom, you can see the release notes here too.